Hi guys, what's happening? Uh, it's just Gareth here. Uh, just another quick one on our series about uh, altering a document so it's more accessible for someone with a visual impairment. Uh, today we're going to have a look at labelling a diagram or labelling a graph or a, a picture. Uh, and you can take a picture, take it across, put it into a Word document and alter the labels so they're more accessible to someone with a visual impairment. So, starting off again, we've got a PDF. Uh, we want to take the diagram from a PDF, so we want to take this diagram here about a, uh, a measuring tube with a, with, a, with a cylinder and we want to be able to label that so it's more accessible. And whoever's doing will be able to do the question once it's been taken across. Uh, so we alter it to however we want it to be. So we're going to put it in 24. So we've had a word with the person we're working with. Uh, I'm going to change the layout of it. So we've altered it all. Uh, I like the layout to be narrow, to get a bit more on the page. Uh, here with a title, question six. Put that in the middle, keep it nice and simple. Okay, take the text. Okay, put that to the side, paste it in, question six, okie dokie, there we go, want this over here, so a top tip, if you are struggling to copy it across, maybe it's uh, it's on a website and you tend to copy it across, you get a black image or you're taking it out of something like that that won't let you copy that image uh, what you could do is you could use the snip tool so there's a snip tool built into windows 10 uh, i'll also show you another way in case you haven't got the snip tool using paint so start off if you have got the snip tool you press the windows button shift and s and it'll come up with a little box at the top and then you've got some options you can free for, which means you can draw whichever pattern you want and, and take it, take the whole window, full screen, or this little box here, so you might want to take, which is a triangle one, which I use the most really, because I only really want the diagram. So what I do is I highlight the area of the screen I want, and it saves it, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the layer from here, I'm just gonna put a landscape page, remember from one of our previous videos what you do page set up this point forward landscape and it'll give me a landscape page and i'm going to just paste it in there so there it is okay so as promised i'm going to show you if you haven't got the snip tool or you can use the snip tool for anywhere uh i'm going to show you how you can copy this diagram across using uh using paint as a there's a bit of a goal between, if you like. Okay, so I've got my page here that I want to copy it into. So what I like to do is I'm going to make this nice and big. So I'm going to move me down slightly so I can get to it. Okay, make this nice and big. Okay, so this is the diagram we want. Okay, so I'm just going to press print screen on your keyboard. And then we're going to open paint up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste into paint. And I'm going to use this select tool to take the area that I need, a bit like the snip tool. So it's cut that. And then I'm going to pop that into my Word document. So it's a bit of a longer way of doing it. But I find sometimes it looks a little bit clearer as well doing it that way. So if you do do the snip tool and you don't think it's as clear as you want it to be, uh, feel free just to take it across using this method instead. Okay. Make it a little bigger. Uh, I'm also going to format it slightly. So I've got the corrections. I can make it stand out by changing and softening and sharpening the way in which it looks. Okay. And then I'm just going to label it. So I'm going to insert, you go to illustrations, shapes, area here, text box. Okay. Write down 
whatever you want it to say. Yeah, there we are. So as you want it then, and if you right click, I'm gonna get rid of the borders on this. So you go to outline, no outline, and it's taking it. And then if I copy that, once you've done one, remember, no point reinventing the wheel. You've got plenty to choose from then. And you can just copy and paste, you can make as many as you want. Okay, paste another. Okay. That's 400. And then if, if you didn't know, you got a little X there. I can put cubed up at the top or square. That's how I'm going to get my three at the top there. Okay, make it slightly smaller so it fits on. Uh, copy that. Paste. Okay, and then if we've got to insert, I can do is put a line up, going up that side there. There we go. I can make that nice and thick. Change the fill of it, make it black, make it thicker. Two and a half, three. Okay, and then again, copy that, paste. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Copy that, move it across, copy, paste. Take that, and then in. It can be a bit fiddly when you first start to do it. But hopefully, you're going to notice a difference. One, two, three, and then insert last bit. This little bit over here and then make it black right click and then wait there you go so you made it that little bit bigger that little bit more accessible put your area at the bottom there copy that and then paste it in there there we go so hopefully that's helpful it's made that diagram there a lot more accessible for somebody who's going to be doing it with a visual impairment. Uh, okay, it's a little bit fiddly, uh, but once you've done one or two and you get the hang of it, you find that you're flying with them. And things like graphs, if you're going to do a graph at the side, it, it, what you're going to have to do is just uh, copy and paste the boxes along the side for the axes, uh, make it a little bit bigger, alter it in different ways as well. Uh, tables, you can do once you've done one table, just keep copying and pasting. If you get away with copy and pasting as much as you can, just copy and paste. Because once you've done it once, why do it again? Hopefully that's helped you out, and I'll catch you next time. Okay, take care.